Hello, welcome to TacTrunks.com. Today we're going to work on a designer tool that will enable you to look at your tack box cover to see what it looks like um, before we stitch it. Um, we have a designer tool that we're going to share. However, I'd like to go into some of the colors and selections before we just get into that tool that's available to you in the designer tool. In the designer tool, we have some umbrella colors. which are shown here. Also we have our standard colors shown here. Next we're going to share that we have um, horse logos. Most people put a three letter monogram or a horse logo on their tack trunk covers. So here there's a wealth of um, logos and you can click load more to view additional logos or design your own. Let us know and we're happy to work with you on your horse logo and to do the um, artwork. Additionally we have um, stock art logos if you happen to need some help or lost on what you'd like to do for an idea for a horse logo. Here are some popular stock art monograms that we have. Next we want to share our our embroidery, most popular than anything with tack trunk covers are three letter monograms. <laughs> um, we also can add um, breed logos and the font selections are typically our standard fonts or custom fonts. And if you have your own font, we're happy to accommodate. Let us know what you, we can do to accommodate you for your fonts for the embroidery. Now let's go into our um, tool for to create tack box covers. So we click here, tack box covers. If you have time, it'd be a good idea to um, read the pages here and look at the offering we have on tack box covers. We also make tack box covers for uh, trunks that are not made by Phoenix West or Warner and here's the measuring guide and it's important that you use this measuring guide and, um, to get a quote. Additionally um, we make nylon covers and we also have the fancy umbrella colors as well. So let's go into our, our designer tool In our designer tool, as you can tell here, this is the cover, and on the right hand side are, are steps one through five. Now, if you don't have your own logo, you can click over here um, and go by a variety of options um, to click around um, all of our stock art here. We're going to go ahead and use our stock art and place a dressage rider on our tack trunk cover for the logo. Additionally, we're going to go ahead and start with um, step one. We're going to select our fabric material. We're going to go ahead and create this cover for a large umbrella tack trunk cover. We can also select a display pattern on the top of the cover, whether it be diamond quilted or square quilted. Additionally, we ask um, if your trunk is a, a standard Phoenix West or a custom size trunk. If it's custom, we would um, need you to fill in the measurements as shown here. Next, we would go in and decide if we want to have a zipper. So we're going to add a zipper to this um, cover. Notice the zipper shows up on the designer. We're going to add piping. Piping goes on the base of the cover, which looks um, nice. And then we're going to add handles. You can see here we have a handle. Now we're going to add our colors. So for our colors, we're going to add the base color to be, 
let's add brown. Let's do hunter green. I'm not sure I want to do hunter green. Let's do Kelly. Kelly green's very popular. We'll do the uh, handles in uh, Kelly green. Or we can do the handles in red if we want to. And we can also do the trim in red. What looks really nice is to do the uh, piping. And we'll do the piping in black. Now on occasion, you may want to if um, do the trim in black and the piping in white. A darker color on the bottom is important so it doesn't get dirty from the dust. Next, we probably want to make the horse lip bigger and um, maybe give it another color. Um, let's see what might look good here. Here's the dressage rider. Let's go ahead and see what the color for the dressage rider um, would be in white. Not sure if I like that. There's a tan, forest green. If we did Kelly green, you won't be able to see it. I like it in black. Let's go ahead and keep it that. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to add some text too on the bottom. Julie. Voila, there we go. Here's a tack trunk cover. And um, maybe the next design we do, we'll do a three letter monogram. So the next thing to do is to get a quote for your tack trunk cover. So you'll come down here and do request a quote. The system's processing. Here's the details on your cover. Then you click here, proceed to send quote. We'd like to thank you for your time today and come back for future videos on how to create um, products at techtrunks.com. Thank you.